it's it's too painful to to run through those flames. Um, so living on positive motivation increases pleasure over time. Living on negative motivation decreases pleasure over time. And a lot of the time, chasing short-term pleasure decreases pleasure in the long term. Uh, that's why everything in moderation um, and choosing a certain amount of adversity per day, you, you know, you can't get around that. You have to be able to do work every day and you have to be able to, um, I, you know, ideally do some form of exercise, even if it's stretching or something, something for your health, something for your wealth too, so you can, and some adversity in those areas. So you feel like you've earned the day and then you can actually enjoy the rest. Okay. But you can't, you can't enjoy rest when rest is all, all that you do. In fact, that source of pleasure, which is a release from work now becomes a source of pain. Just like when you were a kid and you stayed home all day, like I would stay home, skip school to watch the prices, right? After two days, you're depressed, you know, you have no energy, you have no motivation because all you're doing is nothing. A lot of people have this dream to be like, I'll be making a bunch of money then I don't have to work. That dream will quickly become a nightmare, believe me, because you have no adversity. We're not built like that. We're built to have missions. We're built to enjoy the progress towards a mission. We're built to always have, you know, you want to have these different games available, right? You know, I, I can play this personal development guru game, whatever the fuck you call it for the rest of my life. Cause I know the guys at the top end of this, Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, they're in their sixties. You know, they're making a hundred million dollars a year. There's so much within this, just this one game for me to play for, for so many levels for me to go through for the rest of my life that I'm never going to get bored of it. And there's so much stuff that I can incorporate and, and tell you guys that it's never going to get boring for me. But a lot of people don't have those positive games in their life. So where do they turn? They turn to the video game, right? Because that game is so much easier to play. You can just turn it on, turn it off. Okay. Now that game in itself, like after a hard day of work, if you want to play an hour or two video games, no problem. It's the problem when you're playing them 24 seven because you don't have any positive games in your life. And your motivation is to um, play those games because you don't like your reality instead of the motivation of like, I've had enough, I'm going to change my reality, I'm going to level up my income, um, you know, I'm going to go from six to seven figures or, or, you know, five to six figures or whatever that may be. Um, so you fear having to give up the pleasure of inaction and endure pain of action. Um, and the, the pleasure of action plus the pain of action, inaction has to be greater than the pleasure of inaction plus the pain of action. Simply put, it needs to be more painful for you not to do the thing than it is for you to do the thing, okay? It was a lot of pain for me when I started cold calling, but it was way more painful to like not have the potential for like a six-figure income. You know, I came out of trading. I didn't have any transferable skills. Had to do it. It was the only other, I tried a few businesses, they flopped. Had to go get that money. Hated it. But I hated not, not having good money coming in even more. Um, so I was motivated to do it by pain. Now it's much easier to be motivated by pleasure because I have so much more that I like out of this business. But to actually get the business to where it is now and it's sort of systemized and optimized and I it's running like a well-oiled machine. I've got outsourced a lot of what I need to do. So I'm able to do these videos every day or every weekday. You know, it did really take some pain to get here, becoming an expat entrepreneur, all this stuff. But the, all those sacrifices were worth it to be able to enjoy what I do and have a business, have this lifestyle business where I actually enjoy what I like, able to afford me the kind of lifestyle that I want. And it's even easier to be motivated for now because, you know, I can just wake up and do these videos and, and speak my mind and all this fun stuff. So in summary, you know, you don't have a problem with motivation. You're just motivated for the wrong thing. Okay. You have a problem with channeling that motivation into the right direction. And the source of that problem is pain. It's just not painful enough for you. My favorite YouTube guy right now is this guy, Wes Watson. For, you know, he just did 10 years in prison and he's very honest about what he went through and very motivational and he changed his life completely. You know, he was a hardcore gangster. And he just had enough pain in the prison system where he said, you know, enough. He's going straight and he's going to go to total positivity. Um, and it took, you know, 14 months. It took, you know, being in prison, being in knife fights, 14 months in solitary confinement for him to change. Some guys are in prison their whole life. They never change. That's not enough pain for them. Right. Now his motivation's full positive. Um, 
And if a guy like that can make massive changes, anyone can, right? With, with enough pain behind you to change the motivation to like, I'm not motivated for those negative things. Um, I'm, I'm motivated for things that are going to help me long term. So you don't have a problem with motivation. Uh, you have a problem with channeling that motivation into things that are going to benefit you long term. And that's the solution you need to make. It's going to come from pain and it's going to come from the pain of inaction. And it's going to come from the pleasure of visualizing, seeing the result of your future and having the faith in yourself that you're going to be able to get to that next level and the next level and the next level and the next level and be able to play that, you know, that game in various games for the rest of your life. And that's it, man. So I hope you found this message useful. If you need any help with this, revolutionarylifestyledesign.com forward slash coaching. Get in my peak performance coaching plan or pick up one of my products, revolutionarylifestyledesign.com forward slash products. I recommend my book, How to Get Organized. I run my entire life on the Tick Tick app now. It used to be Wonderlist in the book. That's massive for motivation because it just, it just handles everything for you. All you have to do is look at your phone and see whatever the fuck you have to do for that day. And it's so much easier to be motivated when you're organized. That being said, you don't have to do any of that stuff. You can just keep watching these videos and keep winning. Much love to you.